Now let's create a review site using end-to-end -end tests to drive our development. We'll start in the review end-to-end -end folder in the source integration folder. app.spec.ts contains our initial end-to-end -end tests. You'll notice that NX has scaffolded everything out so that we can start being productive immediately. We don't need this get greeting statement. We'll just type sci.contains board game horde and this is the review site. Now I'll start up the API and start the end-to-end -end tests in watch mode. You see these tests failed because we haven't added that text to our homepage. So we'll fix the app, app.tsx. We'll comment out the message information for now. And let's add in the text that the end-to-end -end test expects. And now our test passes. Now let's add some tests to make sure that all the games are being rendered correctly. You see that it's failing because it can't find an anchor tag with the text settlers in the can. We'll uncomment these sections and modify them to get a list of games from the API. Great, now we see that our network call is working, even though our tests are still failing. We're using a motion for a styling library, and I'll paste in some styled components. Now let's use these styled components to render out our games. We still have a few problems with our review app. None of the images are loading correctly. The rating should say it's a three out of five, and the price should be formatted like a currency. We'll fix the rating and price formatting issue by adding some formatting functions and then using them in our component. Now our tests all pass, but we still need to fix the images. Looking in the network tab, we see that the browser is looking for the images under the slash assets folder. Now I've added the images that it expects in the assets folder and they're rendering correctly.